Hey guys, here's uh, part 42 of my Pokemon Fire Red playthrough, and um, today we will uh, start going through Victory Road. So, um, yeah, it's pretty a big step here, so let's try to go for it. Alright, so here is my chop, um, level 32. I just go just air release it for some experience, and um, yeah, it takes it out, and I get 402. Um, so actually, I'm going to use. If I ha I know I have some repels left, so I guess I'll just use them here. Um, cause I really don't want to run into all these weak Pokemon. So, or th sorry, repels. So there we go. Um, so I know I have to push this boulder over there. Um, you know, Kanto Victory Road always has boulder pushing, which is just kind of annoying, but yeah, whatever. So let me think about this. Okay, I know what I have to do. Um, and I still get a wild encounter, a level 44 Arbuck. Um, yeah, I don't really don't feel like fighting that, so goodbye, Arbuck. So let's push the boulder one over and then one down, and that will open up the rot the path up there. So here's an Onyx level 46, and I can just uh, cross chop it. I even get a crit, which I don't even think was necessary, but hey, 706 experience isn't too bad. Um, and of course, here's another wild Onyx. <laughs> um, so let's cross chop this thing. Because, um, I don't know if you guys know, but Repel only blocks Pokemon that are have a lower level than your lead poke, I believe. So, um, yeah. So, anyway, here's a trainer. A, um, cool trainer, Naomi. And she has a Persian, which, um, Miss Piggy kind of just laughs at because I can brick break it for the KO. And, um, yeah, I'll take out Persian. Um, now he's gonna go out into, she's gonna go out into Ponyta. Um, I'm pretty sure I can cross chop this for the KO, so I'm just gonna do that. And, yeah, I do. And uh, here comes Vulpix, and um, I'll just leave Miss Piggy in to deal with the Vulpix as well. I mean, I don't know why not, unless I miss, of course. And it's going to confuse Ray me. So, yeah, I'm not going to stay in now, because I really don't feel like being confused Raid. So let's go into Gyarados, um, since it's like water type and stuff. And um, the Vulpix is going to imprison, but I don't even know what that does, and I surf it. Um, and that will be a dead Vulpix. Um, and I get some minute experience. Here comes out Rapidash. I'll just leave Gyarados in. Why not? Um, Gyarados actually should level up from this Rapidash. And it's going to be a 2-hit KO. Uh, Rapidash is going to stomp me, and it's not even going to do a whole lot. Um, it's going to actually hyper... He's, she's going to use a hyper potion, so it's actually going to turn into like a... Yeah. So I have to hit, actually hit it three times. But now the Rapidash is dead. Um, Gyarados will go to level 44, which is always a good thing. Um, and now she's going to send out nine tails. Um, I don't even know what I want to send out. How about Doom Cannon? Um, so I can abuse that new earthquake move. Ready for this? Ready for this? Overkill! <laughs> That's a dead nine tails. Anyway, um, Doom Cannon actually should level up, and he does. And that is all peachy. Good game, Naomi. And, um, yeah. So, here's another cool trainer up here. Um, he says I'm good, but he wants to see exactly how good I am. I don't really know how he knows I'm good. I mean, sure, I'm at Victory Road, but, you know, I don't, I don't even know. So, I'm gonna brick break his Raticate, um, and that's going to help Miss Piggy level up, and um, he's, it's going to try to learn Swagger, um, which like confuses the target and raises its attack, but I don't really want to learn Swagger, so no, I do not want to learn Swagger. Um, so here comes Charizard. Um, you know what, I'm going to go out into Bunny, because, you know, electric types are good against flying types, and um, it pains me to KO a Charizard, because they're so cool, but um, you got to do it eventually. Um, so it's going to scary face Bunny, and I don't even know, maybe Bunny's still faster. No, it's not. Charizard's still pretty fast, so... You know, after Scary Fates, it's faster. Um, and Flamethrower did a whole bunch, but thankfully it doesn't kill Bunny, and um, Bunny's going to KO the Charizard. So here comes out Charmeleon. Um, you know, I guess I'll go into my own Charizard, so I can fight it with its evolved form, which is kind of cool. Um, I don't know why he hasn't evolved this Charmeleon yet. I mean, it's level 42, for Pete's sake. Um, but let's go for the Fly. Um, fly is a 2 a KO, so I'm just going to keep going for that. Um, it's going to keep trying to Scary Face me, but miss, so that's kind of pointless. So that Charmeleon goes down. Now he's going to go out into a War Turtle. Um, and I guess I'll go into Humpty Dumpty, since, you know, grass types are cool and stuff. So, um, let's go for the Giga Drain, since it's super effective, and should carry the War Turtle, but of course he doesn't. Um, and it's gonna tail whip me, for whatever that's worth, um... So I'm going to try to finish it off with Egg Bomb. But of course it's going to use a Hyper Potion. Whatever. So I hit it with the Egg Bomb, and that's like going to be a 3 KO. So I'm just going to finish it off with Giga Drain. So yeah, at least the War Turtle's dead now. And um, Humpty Dumpty might level. No, he doesn't. Okay, but here's an Ivysaur. Um, and Ivysaur will easily be KO'd by Charizard. Um, so let's just go for the Flamethrower KO. So here we go. <laughs> Boom, and the Ivysaur explodes. Um, 
Yeah. So good game, uh, Ro Rolando. I think his name was. I don't. That's a. I don't know, that's kind of like. That's a cool name, I guess. All right. So um. Yeah. There's another panel. I have to push a boulder into. Um. So let's Night of King use strength. Um, and I have to just think how I want to move this boulder. Um, yeah, I got it. The puzzles here really aren't too hard, but you kind of want to think about them just, just in case, because it's annoying to go running all the way down and all the way back up. I mean, just, just boring. Um, so I'm just going to brick break this onyx. It's going to be a 2 hit KO, and it's going to iron tail me for nothing, and even if he lowers my defense, whatever, because you're dead next turn. All right, so the onyx goes down. And, um, let's push this boulder onto that, um, button thing, and that should open up the next area. Um, here is yet another onyx, um, and, um, yeah, I guess I'll just brick break it for the 2 hit KO, why not? Um, it's decent experience, I suppose. Sandstorm gets set up, um, not that I really care too much, um, it does, like, some minute damage, so whatever. Um, so that onyx goes down, um, I get a little bit of experience, and, yeah, another... There's a oh a Marowak. Cool poke. But I don't feel like fighting it. Um so let's go this way. Oh my goodness gracious, it's a karate guy. Um and this is the final test for trainers, he says. And here is a machoke. Um let's arrow lace this thing, since it's like super effective. And he's gonna revenge, which is going to Ow Crit Revenge. Just ow. Alright, let's go into Humpty Dumpty, because Humpty Dumpty can psychic and stuff, and that's going to KO the Machoke and probably everything else he has. Um, but Humpty Dumpty grew to level 44, and he has a Machomp, so I'm thinking, you know what, I'm just going to um, try to level up someone else, like Charizard. Um, and let's go for the Fly. I mean, it's super effective and stabbed, so why not? And that will take out the Machop after a crit. Probably didn't matter. Um, and his last guy is another Machoke, um, which I can also probably fly to death. It's going to try to Vital Throw me, which would have hurt. And, of course, Fly misses. And it's going to Foresight me, so... I'm going to be in the air anyway, so I'm not even going to be able to hit with whatever he wanted to get 100% accuracy with. So, Fly is going to be a 2 KO, I'm afraid. Um, in fact, I'm not even going to bother using Fly again. I'm going to finish it off with Steel Wing, so that's a dead Machoke, I'm afraid. Um, and Charizard's level 44, yay! And it's trying to learn Slash, but I'm not going to let it, because I need Cut, probably. Probably not, actually. I don't know. So, um, yeah... Moral of the story, I don't care. So, revive Miss Piggy, and, um, I guess heal it a bit, because it sucks when Pokemon are injured and stuff. Um, and pretty much all my party except for Bunny is level, uh, 44, so let's heal Bunny a bit, and, um, yeah, after two super potions, it's full health. Um, and, oh, there's another button there, but here's another Marowak that I don't feel like fighting, so goodbye. Um... There was an item, uh, TM-37 Sandstorm, Devil, I will never use it. Um, and here's another trainer, and he's like, So, you wish to challenge the Elite Four, and he's a juggler Nelson, and he has a drowsy. Um, and, you know, fighting a psychic type with a fighting type probably isn't the smartest strategy. Um, let's go into Bunny, or not. Um... Yeah, um, let's go into Bunny. Okay, so I go into Bunny, and, um, he's gonna swagger, which... It's kind of gay. I mean, I don't really feel like being confused on Bunny, so I'm just going to switch. Um, or maybe not. Maybe I'll just toxic it and try to toxic stall it. Okay, so I toxic it, and it's toxicid. Toxic id? I don't know. So, um, that's pretty cool. And, um, now I'm going to, you know, do the other part of the strategy, and that's double team like heck! Um, so, yeah, toxic stalling is fun, guys, especially when you're breaking evasion claws. Yeah! So, um, yeah, let's continue double team. Um, so my evasiveness rises again. He's going to psych up for my evasion modifiers. However, it doesn't really matter because shockwave will always hit. So, let's just go and start doing that. Um, and I even get a crit, so I care the drowsy. Sweet. Um, here comes a hypno, and you know what? I'm going to do the same thing, because I still have my evasion, so I'm just going to toxic it. Um, and hypnos are really annoying, so, you know, it's probably a good thing that I toxic it. So, yeah, I'm just going to keep shockwaving it now. Um, it's doing decent damage, and toxic is doing decent damage, so all in all, the hypno should be dead soon. It's just going to meditate and raise its attack, so, I don't know, <laughs> like, whatever. It's going to miss the psychic. Why would you meditate, then use psychic? It makes no sense. Whatever. Hypno's dead. That's what really makes sense. Um, and Bunny is level 44. Yay, good job, Bunny. And now he has a Kadabra. Um... You know what? 
<laughs> I don't even know. Um, okay, let's go to Miss Piggy, because I feel like playing Risky, and I'm pretty sure Cadaver's uh, defense isn't great, and I'm just going to air release them. Ha <laughs> yay! Um, even though I shouldn't be out speeding Cadabras, I guess I am because I have speed EVs and they don't. So, um, yeah, Cadabra goes down, and I defeated Nelson. Um, so, um... Uh, uh, full heals, that's always useful. Uh, repel wore off, and of course, as soon as it wears off, I meet a Pokemon. Um, then again, this Pokemon would have been met anyway, it's level 48. Um, so, let's get in the way of this guy, so I can battle him. And this is Tamer Vincent, and this will probably be the last battle of this video. Um, he has a Persian lead, I'm just going to KO it with Brick Break, because, you know, it's a normal type and stuff. And Miss Piggy is now level 45, which is always good. And here comes out a Golduck. Um, a bunny should be able to easily handle this Golduck, um, with, you know, an electric-type move. So, let's go for the Shockwave, um, maybe 2-hit KO, yeah, it's gonna be a 2-hit KO, I mean, it hits it down to red. And, um, Shockwave is going to KO the Golduck now, um, and, let's see, he, I just defeated Vincent, sweet. So, uh, rate, comment, subscribe, guys, see you next time, I'll be clearing out Victory Road, hopefully, in the next few videos, so, see you guys next time, bye!